glacier is still busy. Still busy. And this is September the 13th. They got three lines open here. Wow. Are you tired of fighting crowds, honey? Yeah, well, we didn't have a whole lot. I mean, just some of the national parks, you gotta expect that, summertime. Yep. So. Construction, construction. This is going to the Sun Road. Yep, all the major hikes and viewpoints are off this road. Have fun. Yeah, we went to Glacier so I could take some photos of waterfalls with my new camera. Look at this mess. Construction everywhere. Mr. Childers is not a happy camper. Look at that nasty mess. Oh my God. I'm sorry. Yikes. We thought that going to Glacier this late in the season would be okay, but they're working on the road going to the sun road and it is a mess a total friggin mess and there's hardly anywhere to pull off until you get back to pavement so keep that in mind if you plan on going the middle of september this man does everything for me I'm so blessed to have a man like that. He was not a happy camper, but his truck got all dirty again. Thank goodness it's coming off pretty good. I mean, it got under the truck, over the truck, everywhere on the truck. Oh, what a mess. We didn't know that the going to the Sun Road was going to be under construction. The last time we were here, it was under construction. So, but it was worse this time. Totally worse. Not worth going. Not worth it. Good morning. How y'all doing? Yes, it's nice and bright and sunny and blue skies. Woohoo! Anyway, I want to show you where we're camped. This is our camp spot. And yes, you can hear a generator running in the background. This is where we camp when we come to Glacier National Park, unless we go to the east side of Glacier and then we camp into Medicine. This is called Columbia Falls and it's Forest Road. I wanna say 10904. Yes, you can hear the traffic on the road. Yep, sure enough. We've been here for probably four days, five days, maybe. Anyway, yep, and the wind is starting to blow. Woohoo! <laughs> it's a pretty big area. Um, people camp from down over there. Now, there's a big hole right here. Okay little kids play down in there so oh, it's just a it's just a little sand pit that's all but people camp right there along the tree ridge and all out here in the middle and I don't know well back behind the middle there is another area over there by the tree line and people camp along this tree line. You can probably get 30 rigs in here easy, really easy, and not be on top of each other. That's what we like about this spot. But look, they had a fire here uh, a few years ago, probably five years ago, and the forest is coming back beautifully, just beautiful yeah we like this spot 
and y'all seen what it was like when we went to the park yesterday. They're doing construction big time. Oh my gosh. And I want to tell you, most of the people that run their generators here, they all park kind of out there in the middle. Weird to me. If I was running the generator, I'd be back up against the tree line there. But it is what it is. But it's a pretty nice place. I mean, our spot is pretty level. This is the first time we have parked over here on this side. Most of the time we're down there by the tree line. But uh, this is perfect. I want this spot every time we come back. <laughs> yeah. But you can stay here for 16 days. It's awesome. People will stay here for 16 days. And then they'll leave, go park somewhere else, and come right back. It's usually pretty quiet. And at night, there's no traffic on the road. And it is super quiet. And I'll put the um, coordinates in the description below.